Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do an assignment like this one, because it may not be clear, especially because we're new. So here we see a stem and leaf um, plot right here. And remember from the video we previously watched that this row right here actually is three different numbers. The tens place is a zero. This is the ones place of a four. So that's a four. Here's a five and here's a seven. So that's the way you think about those. In this next row, we start with the one in the tens place. So actually this row represents a 13 and another 13. So as we keep going, this row represents a two in the tens place, a five in the ones place, that's a 25. This row, you have a three in the tens place, then you have a zero, so that's 30. And this one is a 31. And the final piece of data we have is way down in the seven um, for the tens place and a five in the one, so that's 75. So if you look over here, here's all those numbers that are represented by the stem and leaf plot. So we have a four, a five, a seven, a 13, a 13, a 25, a 30, a 31, and a 75. And so you can actually count right there and see that there are nine number nine people that were surveyed. <clears throat> or it, I guess this problem has to do with a survey question or number of people surveyed. So maybe it's their age or something, I don't know. So we can actually answer this question right here. If you add up all of those, you get nine people. All right, so let's go ahead and just go in order other than that. So the maximum, that means what's the biggest number represented on this stem and leaf plot? And so that's in the bottom row where you have a seven in the tens and a five in the ones. So that's 75, that's our max. The minimum is the smallest number. So that would be in the top row where you have a zero in the tens and a four in the ones place. So that's just the number four. The range is the distance between the maximum and the minimum. So we can get that by subtracting. If you take the maximum and you take away the minimum, you'll get the range. And so 75 minus four is 71. That's our range or the distance between the max and the min. The mode, if you remember back to when you first learned about mean, median, and mode, you might not remember, so this is a good reminder. The mode is the one that appears the most. So if we look at the numbers, I actually have them listed here. There's only one four, there's one five, there's one seven, there's two 13s, and then the rest of them, there's just one of them, 25, 30, 31, 75. So 13 is actually the one that appears the most, and that's right here. There's two threes, that means there's two 13s that's the ones place, that's the tens place. So the mode, or the one that appears the most, equals 13. Now the median is the middle number. And that's what these little slashes are for. The way I think about it is you're going to cross off numbers on each end. So if we cross off the four, we'll also cross off the 75, because that's the biggest number. Then we'll cross off the next sets of numbers. So if we cross off the five, we'll also cross off the 31. We're just going down to narrow this down to the middle. So if we cross off the seven, we'll also cross off the 30. That's right here. If we cross off the 13, we'll also cross off the 25. Now we're down to just one number left. We're going to circle it. That's what's called the middle number or the median. So that is one in the tens, three in the ones. The median is also 13. It happens to be the, the same as the mode, but it won't always be that way. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what if we ended up with two numbers in the middle? Like, maybe, um, what if 
25 and 30 were in the middle. They aren't, but just what if? Well, then you actually have to find what's exactly in between 25 and 30. It's actually 27.5. So if you ever run into a problem where there's two middle numbers, just remember that you have to find the middle of those. And so if it was 25 and 30, you'd go halfway between 25 and 30, which is 27.5. So just wanted to cover that because you're going to run into that as you go through these problems. All right, so the mean, that is what sometimes just, if people just say the average, often they, they are talking about the mean. Often they mean the mean. And so this is a little review, but you've got to add up all the sum of all the numbers. So you'd have to add all those up. Let's see. So 4 and 5 is 9. 9 and 7 is 16. 16 and 13 is 29. We'll see if I can do this in my head. 29 and 13 is 39, 42. 42 and 25 is 52, 62, 67. 67 and 30 is 97. 97 and 31, let's see, that's 107. 117, 127, and 1 is 128, and 128 plus 75 is 203. So when you add those up, and you can double check my work on a calculator if you want, you get 203. And so you divide those by the number of pieces of data, in this case, nine. So we would take 203 and divide it by nine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on another piece of paper here. Let me see. 203 divided by nine. Let's see what we get. OK, we get about, it's about 22.555. So you get 22.5s repeating. So um, I could just write 555, but I'm just going to round it to 22.6. Okay, So there's actually our answer right there for that one, 22.6. So the last thing we're going to do is outlier. So an outlier is a number or piece of data that's far away from the rest. Far away from the rest. That's a simple um, explanation of it. Uh, so if you look at these, this data, do you see anything that's far away from the rest? I would say that there's one number that's far away from the rest, and it's the biggest number. In fact, it's over twice as big as any of the other numbers. So I would say that our outlier this time is 75. Over here is 75. So this is how you do these problems. Uh, you're going to have a few problems to do like this um, as you go through the slideshow. You can do them on paper or you can do them uh, like I did right here on the screen. Uh, I don't care if you use a calculator, but it's not bad to also just practice your mental math like you saw me doing. So I'll leave that up to you. So this is one of your first big assignments in this class. Go ahead and have at it.